Hey guys, this is Matt with Cooler Garage Doors. I wanted to get a quick little video together for weather stripping. There are three primary types, but we're also gonna talk about a couple other things. So, as a perimeter seal, we have a vinyl option. This is a full vinyl piece, and you can see it's one flap, vinyl. This stuff works well, it's kind of a default. There are different versions of this. So this is a more quality piece than you would get from Home Depot or something with a, uh, a Lowe's style door. Up on top here, I've got a metal backed. I really like this one. It actually has a dual fin piece of rubber on a metal back. So this is ideal for desert environments, something that's going to get really hot. The vinyl can get dry, cracky. It can warp if it gets really hot. And over time, this plastic is going to get brittle. The metal doesn't do that. This rubber is a little bit heavier duty EPDM. The other one we have is custom. And so this is actually wood stop. And what we do is we take a vinyl piece and we curve it in to the wood, staple it so it stays taut. And this is for a lot of custom doors that get the wood overlay. We can have the same look and aesthetic with our weather stripping. Last couple of things I'm gonna talk about is the bottom seal. This has a vinyl rubber. This stuff gets super slippery and almost uh, icky after a little bit. I have defaulted to always use a EPDM rubber on the doors that cooler supplies. It's thicker, it's more durable, it tends to not freeze to the ground as much. It doesn't get as slimy as the gray stuff does. And I need to update this door with that to show that off. On the very bottom, we can add pieces of threshold. And what this does is increase an elevation gain that can help prevent water from coming in. Now, the big thing about all of this is it is a garage door. There are specifics to how a garage door moves along the wall, but for expectations of this door being completely waterproof is not realistic. Water can seep into the bottom. Even with thresholds, there are some designs that we can make so that we can really stop water or prevent water from going, but it's never gonna be a waterproof scenario just because of the garage door, how it plays. Even some of the corners, you know, there are going to be little tiny gaps here and there on some scenarios. We try to get everything buttoned up so there's no daylight coming in. But we're talking about a big moving wall that's going right behind another wall. So inevitably, there's going to be some little pieces here. We are going to be able to get everything tightened so that insects, pests, rodents are deterred and not coming into the garage. But that just means, means we're going to maintain our weather stripping and our seals and make sure everything is buttoned up on an annual basis. So that's weather stripping 101. If there's something that you like or are more curious about, hit us up and I'm happy to answer questions.